WCW slid into a period of extravagant overspending and creative decline. The reasons and the people responsible are still a matter of debate. One possible reason was the overuse of celebrities in pay-per-view matches, such as Dennis Rodman and Jay Leno. Also, WCW's credibility was damaged by product placement, such as Rick Steiner trading cards with Chucky the Killer Doll in order to advertise the 1998 film Bride of Chucky. In addition, top-level stars had no motivation to excel in the ring due to their long-term contracts. WCW did not promote its younger stars to the company's top slots a charge admitted by Biscoff. Despite having talented younger wrestlers like Chris Jericho, Chris Benoit, Dean Malenko, Billy Kidman, Chavo Guerrero, JR, Eddie Guerrero, Perry Saturn, Raven, Booker T, and Rey Mysterio, JR, on its roster, they were kept away from the main event scene. Of these wrestlers listed, five would go on to headline main events in WWF and become world champions. Both Eddie Guerrero and Booker T have also since been inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame for their in-ring achievements, something WCW bookers believe these men would never be able to sell as. WCW programming had started to decline in quality, leading to a loss of viewers, and the company reacted by throwing money at personalities, something it could ill afford to do. Talents were reportedly signed to keep them from appearing on WWF television. At one point, WCW held over 260 individual performers under guaranteed contracts, many of whom rarely appeared in its programs. During one Thunder program, only 15 of the 260 contracted wrestlers appeared on screen. Also in 98, Biscoff recruited the Ultimate Warrior, a former WWF star, to feud with Hogan to capitalize on the Hogan and Warrior match at WrestleMania 6. Their October 1998 rematch at Halloween Havoc was considered as one of the worst matches in pay-per-view history, and, although the feud between Warrior and Hogan leading up to the match was initially well received, interest soon dissipated after several convoluted and unrealistic segments involving the two were aired on WCW programming. Warrior also insisted on elaborate and costly apparatuses, such as a trap door in the ring which badly injured a British bulldog when he landed on it awkwardly earlier in the event. Warrior would vanish from WCW shortly afterwards.